Hello fellow stackers, 365 here, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking you through how I managed to pick up silver at just 1.5% over spot. Now, this was all done using the Silver Forum, and I've said it many times before, the Silver Forum is a fantastic place to buy precious metals, especially if you're here in the UK and you have to pay 20% VAT on your silver, because straight away when you're buying any silver brand new, you're losing 20%, and you basically have to wait for the spot price to rise, minimum 20%, just to break even. Current spot price of silver, at time of filming this video is currently sitting at 18 pounds and six pence and i managed to pick up this silver for 18 pounds and 35 pence so like i said just over 1.5 percent over spot so in today's video i'm going to be showing you the silver that i managed to pick up for this close to spot and i'm going to be talking you through the reasons why i've decided to pick up this type of silver now let me just find my knife. Here we go. I'm probably gonna get demonetized if YouTube don't bother watching this video the whole way through because this doesn't look like the typical way that silver coins are sent. Really excited to see this. Look at this, a huge huge chunk of silver wow look at that wow okay here we go so these ones are wrapped up oh this is really cool look at this freebies so I actually got sent some free silver coins now pre-1947 so 50% silver really cool i have to leave a link to the person on the silver forum that had this auction so you can go and check out his other stuff here is a separate purchase i made from the same person 82 grams of 50 percent uk silver now that is separate for a different video that was a different purchase so the one we're going to be talking about today is this purchase here now this is pre-47 circulated UK coinage and that means that each coin contains 50% silver. So essentially you need double the weight of this stuff to, to get 400% silver. Now let's cut this open and have a little look. I've actually got some scales here as well to double check it all. Look at this. Whoa, almost dropped on there. Right, there we go. So, it actually looks in quite good condition considering how old these coins are. Now, like I said, this is all pre-1947 circulated silver. So it works out that each coin has 50% silver. And then the other 50%, I believe, is copper, but I'm not exactly sure. Might be cooper and nickel, I'm not too sure. Let me know in the comment section. Now, we're going to, to weigh it to double check. And I'm going to put on the screen now the auction to show you how I managed to pick this up for so close to spot. Now, it was an auction on the Silver Forum, and you can see that it is for 2,034 grams of 50% silver, which works out... 1017 grams of fine silver content like i said it's all pre-1947 coins and the auction started at 561 pounds which was the current spot price now there's a few people bidding on this and you can see in there it says that if this auction reaches 600 pounds or more in delivery will be included now my maximum was 600 pounds that's the most i wanted to pay and i managed to actually win this all for 600 pounds so that meant that delivery was also included so i paid exactly 600 pounds for all of these coins you can see on the table and i'll put a picture there to show you the weight when the person took the photos now, i am going to be weighing it today just to double check that there is 2034 grams of silver coins here 
So let's start by getting the scales onto zero. And we're going to start, I might speed this bit up, depending on how long it takes. I'm going to start stacking it on the scales now so we can have a look. Just to double check that the weight is right. Really, really cool to think that this silver has passed many people's hands before in the past. This was actually circulated coinage. So God knows what this has been used to buy in the past. And God knows how many people have used it over and over again. I think it's really cool when you're buying these circulated silver coins that they have such a history behind them. Now this is a video that I think the stat collector is really going to enjoy because he really likes his old circulated coins. He likes his coins that have a little bit more of a kind of numismatic value to them. Now in the UK, and this doesn't just apply to the UK, this applies to most countries. If you're looking to pick up silver for closest to spot, your best option is to go to the old circulated constitutional silver. And that is because they contain a lot lower premium. Now, over the last few months, circulated silver has seen quite a spike. So I am very pleased with how much I picked this up for because it is becoming more and more popular. Now, the money I use to sell my more premium coins that you've been watching me sell over the last few weeks, I actually used to buy all of this. So my thought process behind it is I've converted some more premium items that cost quite a bit over spot into silver that is very, very close to spot. And also I haven't got an emotional attachment to this silver like I did the other things I sold. The other things I sold were very, very hard to part with. And that is because they all had different designs on them. I had brought the silver coins purely based on the designs as opposed to the price. Whereas this stuff here, I've got no emotional attachment to. If silver spot price shot up tomorrow, I could easily chuck this in a bag or a box and sell it straight on. I wouldn't have to sort through it all and decide which ones I'm going to sell and work out which ones I want to keep hold of. So very, very liquid, very, very easy to part with. And that is the reason I converted the money from my other sales of silver into this stuff. Now, hey, what we're going to do, this is going to take too long to try and stack up on here. So what we're going to do, we're going to take all that off. I'm going to grab a container. I'm going to set it back to zero. There we go. And then we're going to fill this container instead. There we go. Why didn't I think of that in the first place? we go so it's actually sitting at slightly over 2034 and it's coming at 2035 so you can see that means that we have just over 32 ounces in total 32 troy ounces of silver because don't forget every single one of these only contains 50 percent silver so you half the total weight and that gives you the, the full weight in fine silver. So when you divide 600 pounds by 32.697, that gives you a total of 18 pounds 35 per ounce. So like I said at the beginning of the video, current spot price is 18 pounds and six pence. So that works out to be 1.5, just over 1.5, about 1.6% over spot. So this truly is the closest you're going to get to spot because when you're buying this old circulated silver, 
it's a lot easier to pick it up close to the spot. If you're buying brand new, straight away you're paying 20% VAT. But also if you're buying even a bullion coin, you're going to be paying the premium on bullion coin as well. So that is my thought process behind this whole experiment. I sold off some more premium silver to buy some more cheap silver. Some people call this junk silver. And this has got no emotional attachment. Like I said, if spot price goes up tomorrow, I can very, very easily part with this stuff. I can very easily grab some of this out, weigh it up on the scales, and I can even split it into kind of smaller lots and sell smaller bunches on eBay, on the Silver Forum, to people that watch my channel. Whoever would like to buy some, I could easily sell this stuff. And it'll be very easy for me to make profit if the spot price of silver rises. Because if you buy a even a bullion coin, if you just buy a American Silver Eagle, for example, or a Britannia, anything like that, if the spot price rises slightly, you don't feel the benefit straight away. Because you paid a premium on the coin in the first place, especially if you bought it new, you paid that 20% premium for the VAT. You don't feel the benefit of a spot price rise. However, for me, buying this so close to spot, spot price only has to go up, say, 50 pence. And already I'm in the green. So it's a really, really good way, in my opinion, to invest in silver. This stuff is very, very liquid. It sells very, very quickly. People love to buy it in bulk. I think people love the kind of feeling of having loads of silver coins as well. So... It's very, very liquid. People like the collector side of things. People like going through these kind of big batch batches of silver and picking out these more collectible, better looking condition pieces. Whether they want to do date runs or just whether they like collecting for the kind of numismatic side of it. So it really is a win-win, in my opinion, when you're picking up constitutional junk silver, circulated silver, pre-1947 silver, whatever you want to call it. So do let me know what you think about this video. Let me know if you think I made a smart move by selling some more premium items that had emotional attachment involved with them into something that has no emotional attachment, very, very close to spot and very, very easy to liquidate in the future. So as always, thanks very much for watching my videos. I hope you found this video interesting. I hope it wasn't too boring with all the different figures and things like that. It was a bit more of a, an informative video as opposed to just an unboxing. I want to say thanks very much for all the support. Thank you very much for all the channel members. And as always, I hope you have a very nice day.